Dr. Shah Chinmay Jayaprakash has completed his MD Physiology and PhD in Physiology and has uh, also completed PGD HPE from KLE University. He is GC, GSMC Female Fellow and Faculty. He is also working as an officer on Special Duty Research Department of Medical Education and Research Government of Gujarat an MEU Coordinator and Director of IQAC GMC Bhavnagar. He is founding editor of National Journal of Integrated Research in Medicine an assessor for NABH for hospitals and NABH for ethics committee and national quality assurance standards and PIACAL. He is the subject matter expert for MD Physiology at National Board of Examination as well as the National Medical Commission, New Delhi and has uh, also served as an expert at Gujarat Public Service Commission and member central task force for updating NEET examination MCQ. He has over 18 years of teaching experience with more than 150 guest lectures and more than 125 national and international publications. With no further ado, I request Dr. Chinmay to take over. Uh, Dr. Lili Joseph and uh, all the dignitaries for allowing me to share my views. Uh, so, I would also like to thank uh, Dr. Vasumati Sikhanis uh, from New York United Knowledge Foundation for inculcating um, specific inclination towards this literature search. Okay. And of course, all of you, because without you all participants, we are no more. So what I request is today is a Saturday afternoon and after the heavy lunch, a few of you might be uh, attending this session. So I request all of you to please interact and uh, please use appropriately chat box. You can ask your question in Q&A uh, section. So my first question to everybody uh, is, why this topic or why literature search is required? I would like to uh, see your answer in the chat box that why literature search is required. Can we have a few response? Just to find the gap. To know what has been done before exactly. To find more evidence or a deeper understanding to get an evidence, etc. To learn the previous evidence. To get the information, to position our research, to know the trends, refining knowledge, excellent. So basically, uh, we can divide uh, the reason for search into two parts. One is in academic context, as many of you have rightly said, that what has been done previously at other academic area. I am doing search in uh, research in Bhavanagar, Gujarat. What has been done in Kerala? What has been done in Maharashtra? What is actual practice going on? And the third is to refine the ideas. For example, I'm thinking that uh, role of uh, proper cleaning in patient safety. Okay, so I will do the literature search and try to refine my idea that what has been done previously and based on that, I will define. Same way, if you are going for a master's thesis, if you are going for a PhD, if you are going to appear somewhere, and present in your project in the conference, you are present paper, poster. So you define that, okay, whatever you are there is based on something concrete, which is there. Then explain that why you have used this method. Because if you go to the literature, you will come to know that, okay, this is the most successful method which can be used for a particular research. Or you can say, okay, this is the method which is not useful. Okay. And lastly, you are aware that okay, what you are going to put is something new. Okay, this is not the same which has been done previously multiple times by multiple people. So you are going to put it here that okay, what I'm doing is something new. This was the gap, and now I am trying to fill the gap. So excellent uh, for your response. So these are the reasons why we should go for literature search. Now, second question to all of you: How you are going to do literature search?
So commonly, if you see keyword in the PubMed, okay, PubMed article from journal. So PubMed is favorite, I think, of all the researcher. Scopus article from the journal is Scopus. Google, Google Baba, yeah. So basically, like, uh, it starts with asking your teacher that, okay, what do you know about it? How can you guide me? Then you will go to the different textbook, undergraduate, postgraduate, and finally, as you say, you will go to the journals, publication, and comprehensive database. And ideally, what they are doing, either we go to the library or we'll go to net. Okay, so now if you see, these are the popular search engine for general search like Google, Yahoo, MSN, Alternative Time, all the way. So, basically, what we are using, uh, can anybody tell me the name of Arsar Barsi and the name of movie? Can anybody write down the name of Arsar Barsi in this movie? And what is the name of movie? Okay, the name of Arshad Varsi uh, was Google. No, and the movie is Haltu. Movie is Haltu, F L T. Okay, so and, and it is everywhere for all the problems. And same day, Google is there for us to all the problems. So let's do some Google search for one topic, uh, which is patient safety. Okay. So if you click the patient safety word in the Google, count the number, count the figure, this many result will come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is more than one over 42 crore result is there with the name patient safety. Okay. So how to reduce the search? And sometimes you will get irrelevant things. So for as far as Google is concerned, you can search using putting an quotation mark around the word. So simply you can see the reduction in the result. It is it has reached to nine crore out of one above forty two crore it has reached to nine crore. This is also too much. Okay, so we are not going to search in this way. I'm just putting a few of the tips that you can put explicit phrase like this. You can exclude the word in the Google, you can put this or this, so you will get both the idea. If you want to search in specific website, you have to put in Google site, full column, name of the website, and that in uh, in the comma, patient safety. You can go for synonyms, and if you want to search a specific type of presentation, PDF, Word, then write like this, patient safety, file type, full column, PPT. Or Epub or Word or PDF. Okay, so this is the way. Few of the tips for the Google. Now, what is the drawback of Google? There is no bibliographic control. There is no standard system of cataloging or classification, and may even lack like even the name of authors who has put it. Every error, uh, error, not error can put anything, and it is available on the website. Okay, so what? We can do, we will go a little more standardized, that is Google Scholar. I hope you all have your profile in the Google Scholar. So what is the advantage of Google Scholar? So if you give the same search of patient safety in the Google Scholar, you see the result. It is 42 lakhs 30,000. And if you look at this slide, you have uh, many features. You can use this to filter your keywords. For example, if you look at here, you can find out your latest publication only. So since 2022, if you want to get it from 2018, you can put it here. You can customize the range. Here right now, it is sorted by relevance. You can sort it by date. Right now, the articles are of any type. You can get only review articles. Here, you can untick this, improve citations. Okay. One more important thing is we all have our account in the Google. So you can create an alert that, okay, whenever any article related to patient safety published in the Google, it may should reach to me. So if you click on this create alert, you will be able to create an alert in the Google for your choice of word. And you can see here, you can get article in PDF, HTML, 
and in effect the other advantage is you will get the citation part also who is cited what are the related articles everything will be available from google scholar so if you want to restrict our research uh, or search up to google and google scholar these are the few of the way we can reduce and get our relevant topic okay now there is one more thing just going on a bit off site that if you click on my profile the other advantage of uh, google scholar if you have your own profile you will get the details of citation for your own articles so look i have probably so many articles how many citations are there what is the h index and what is the i index so this will be for yourself appraisal you will get the details if you have your profile in the google scholar so any questions up to this point you can put in the chat box as we will go further so this is how you can customize your search in google as well as google scholar okay okay i see there is no question so let's go further so what are the other database available or source available for literature search we have a pubmed ovid medline embase scopus table science and lot many but as we see in the chat box also our most favorite is pubmed okay so let's see how pubmed help us or how we can use different methods to customize our search okay so first is what is pubmed it is a free database assessing primarily the medline database of us national library of medicine at nih okay so if you put the website of pubmed you will get this page okay this is a new look of pubmed and you have to search at this point once you click search you also have other options like you can learn about pubmed uh, you can find the full text you can find a uh, clinical queries you can have a single citation nature you will see uh, uh, at the end of the session then once you click here again i have given the same type of patient safety you will see it is 1 lakh 90 thousand uh, search are there now again we are not going to uh, go to all this talk okay so what you can do you can now further customize let's take an example of malaria if i search malaria it can give me lot many options like malaria in the title i can get malaria anywhere like burden of important malaria in cape town okay then if i see further a few of the topics it can be see only one word somewhere in the malaria is there otherwise the title is of hypertension okay so these are the irrelevant topic even here if you see the institution name is malaria and that also you are getting if you simply put the word in the pubmed search so what to do how to remove the irrelevant material from our literature search okay so you can use the following strategy first is avoid stop word second use search in the specific field or area use boolean operators use mesh term filters and advanced let's see one by one so first is avoid stop words so these are the stop words which doesn't have any meaning so don't use this word when you are searching the pubmed see about again all so this all are the stop words don't use when you put your sentence in the pubmed okay now let's see different fields available for search okay we have the title we have a author we have a page number we have a date okay so like that these are the different area which specifically you can use in the pubmed okay so if you will search as for example here the example of chest is given in pi pi is the title you will get it this word in the title if you put p i k d means you want this word in title and abstract if you put chest j o e d r means journal you will get in the journal title let's see the same thing as we know patient safety 1 lakh 90 thousand now i am putting only p i can you see here i have put p i o d so results are only 9821 the patient safety word will come in the title now i am putting p i a d so title as well as in abstract so you can see here title as well as, as well as in the abstract so p i a d 
Okay, if I put J O U R, it becomes to zero. So these are some of the fields which we can use. For example, T I D title, T I D title for aspects, J O U R journal title, A U is author, A D is author's address, mesh term. What is the full form of mesh? Can anybody? What is the full form of mesh? Yes, sir. So it is a medical subject. Okay, we will see how to search using mesh also. Then, if I put simple list, it search all the area. If I want to search specifically page number, I will put page and publication date P D A T. Then I can find out a specific year also. If I search a field wise, my search result is decreased. Now, same example of test. If you see, this is the number you will try uh, with the specific field. You can see that without anything, I am getting 2,40,000 with the title 27,000, with title and aspects 1,30,000, journal 31,000, author only one. So uh, author name is test, which is published in PubMed. AD is 9,598 and next time I can have 2,590. So you can see the difference, huge difference with the field search. Now the third is use of Boolean operators and not or. So and will narrow your search or will broaden your search and not will exclude the search and always use this in upper case. Always use it in upper case. Okay. So when you put and it gives the middle one because it is A plus B. Okay. If you use A or B, so all, everything will come. A or B. And if you say A not B, so only A area will come which doesn't have a B. I hope this is clear. Now let's see. Patient and safety. So it is a 9, 3 lakhs 97. Okay. So if I put patient or safety, you see the number of reasons. Okay. So first time is and. Second level is or, and now I am going to use not patient but not safety. Again, the result is different. So use these Boolean operators very, very carefully. Okay. Now, next is medical subheading. Okay. Medical subject heading. Clear? Yeah. So uh, let's take a same example again. If I want to search, this mesh term in the PubMed, okay, what I have to check, I will go to here, mesh database, I will go to the mesh database and I will click here. Once I click there, I will get mesh here and the term I have to write here. So let's search the same term again, mesh, patient safety, click on the search, you will get these two options. Search is well one and two. Now this is the definition. This is the first of the definition. So I will click here on the patient safety. Once I will click there, I will get patient safety plus these are the options economics, history, legislation, organization, standards, statistics. And if you see here, this mesh term includes this many words patient safety, safety, comma, patient, safety, patient. So these are the words will be taken care when I will search patient safety. So now I want to search for economics and patient safety and statistical and numerical data of patient safety. So what I will do, I will click at this both place and I will click here on add to search builder. Okay. Once I will add to search builder, you can see here patient safety, press economics mask and patient safety slash statistics and number in bracket mask. And then I will click on search PubMed. So once I will search on the PubMed, I will get the detail only 23 results. So specific result is specific one. I hope this is clear. Any questions in this regarding mesh term? Okay. Uh, let me try to show you the same thing on uh, live here. 
Try to click here using the patient mesh database. So I will search here. Okay, so we click here. Right now, click on history and find us. Add to search user. So one is added. I click on search. So you can see 3664 hours. Okay, so now let's continue. We are live only. So uh, here you can see on the left side. Can you see this area? This is the range from 2002 to 2022. So if you want to get latest article, you can just put it 2020 2022. Only 491. Okay. Then if you look at here, the text available, you want only a text, you want only free full text or full text. If I want to put only free full text, now let's see. 200 is only. Again, which type of article I want? I want clinical trial, I want meta analysis, I want only clinical trial. So you can see only three results. So don't have to look at more articles. Okay. And what I want? One year, five year, or last 10 years. Let me put last 10 years. Okay. Then last 10 years, because initially it was a four year only. So now, as I expand at 10 years, it is giving 27 results. If you click here, you will get additional filter also. You can see the additional filter article type, then species, language, sex, type of journal, age. Okay. So you can click appropriate words and you will get the relevant search. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Let's go further. So we have already seen this. So next part is how to use this. How to use other part? You can uh, change the display settings. You can have only abstract, summary and abstract. And you can just apply. Now, if you want to get everything in your mail ID, you have to click here, send it to. Once you click here, you have options email, you want in the file, you want in the clipboard, you want in bibliography, or you want as a citation manager. So, once you click on email, you will what you want. I want only abstract, and here I have to write my mail ID. Once you put everything, you will get it in your mail. Okay. So once you get it in the email, you can preserve it. And here again, as like a Google Scholar, you can have a alert. Okay, you can have a alert. Same way, uh, you can create the file and it will be saved in your account. One more thing, uh, if you are frequently using document, you should create your account because it will save all the search which you have done anywhere in the world in your account. So you can. Uh, have your own account in the PubMed. Other uses, as I say, uh, MES database, you can have a single citation measure. If you are not in the full citation with you, only very old citation available, you can click here. Uh, user guide is available. Even you can use for a bare citation measure. So these are the extra uh, support available from the PubMed. Uh, there are a lot many apps also are there which help you to find out the things from the PubMed. So in summary, uh, how to do the literature search, select the topic, define terminology, develop a search strategy, select your source, review it, update it, analyze the reference, locate the material, record all the information at appropriate place using a reference manager system and finally write up. And specifically it will be useful if you are writing systemic review or meta analysis, they are going to ask you the full search strategy. Okay, so before we end, 
before we end let me show you only the place of advanced search you can click here you will get the advanced search and see you can see here everything what your search has been recorded you can download it and you can share it with the uh, journal editor for detailed package of your picture okay. so thank you thank you very much over from my side if any questions are there uh, we can take it uh, thank you sir for the interactive session